how weird your brows look without makeup on. <laughs> look at me. So the reason why I have no eyebrow makeup on is because I am shooting a little something with Benefit today. Um, I am one of their brow heroes for the UK, so there's four of us and I'm one of the brow ambassadors. So today I'm shooting a little tutorial with them, how I do my brows. So I had to like have all my face done apart from my brows. I'm just waiting for my car now, I'm just putting some things in a suitcase that I may need. And... I guess I'll be on my way. So I'm still waiting. A couple of packages have arrived. So I thought I would just see what I've got. Unbox them in front of you guys. So I have been sent some of Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter. I have not tried this before. And we all know how much I love foundations and concealers. So... Looking forward to trying those. Thank you guys. And then I have one more. MAC Galactic Glitter and Gloss. Here we have four MAC glitters. Glitter Brilliance they're called. So I've got one called Silver Stars. Another one called Yellow Gold, another one called Rose, and another one called Iridescent White. They look insane. Let me open one up and show you. I need proper light so you'll be able to see, but this light is not doing it any justice. That's the gold, that's the rose, and this one is the star one. And I've got these glosses as well. I love gloss so much. This is a lip gloss in the shade Saw. That's what that looks like. And another one called Steel Kiss. This isn't a colour I would ever usually go for, but I'm excited to try that. It comes up more nude on camera, but it's like a pearly light brown. Thank you, Mag. I love you guys. Okay, so my driver's still not here. I'm going to take a wander in the area to see if he's lost. Hopefully he's just late and not lost, but I'm just going to walk around to see because he should have been here 25 minutes ago. So I'm running a bit late. <laughs> I'm about to do my brows. The first thing that we're filming today is me doing my brows in one minute. It's going to be very hard to see what we're going to do. I feel like I'm going to be quite good at it, but we'll see. This is the setup. How groovy is that? Thanks, you know me, I like baggy things in life. Anything that covers. <laughs> we're still doing the having the mic here for Francis no. Hi guys, so it's the next day, it is the 4th of May today and my camera died yesterday at the shoot so that's why I kind of went from that to now. <laughs> today I am filming all day, I'm going to be doing one of my headscarf looks. Um, if you are following me on Instagram, you will know that recently I've been getting like random headscarves and basically matching my makeup to the headscarf and I've loved doing it it's been so much fun I'm gonna be doing another look with that headscarf today I'm gonna be filming that look and then I'm also gonna be filming my curly hair routine and yeah I might have some friends over later I don't know I might have some friends over later or I might just edit later we shall see so I filmed I filmed this look and that video should be up at some point next week. Um, I did different lips though. I just wanted to do nude lips for this other video that I'm doing, which is my curly hair routine. So I'm currently filming that. I'm leaving my hair to air dry for half an hour. Watch the video to see why. <laughs> I don't really have much to say right now, so I'm gonna go. I'm actually daydreaming right now. And it feels really nice. And I know I'm filming it right now, but like, it feels so nice, I don't wanna stop. So I'm not going to stop. Oh, I feel so tired today. The time is 10.21am. We woke up about an hour and a half ago. I look crazy, I'm sorry. I gave Ayla some porridge. 
I had my breakfast, I will be doing some drawing, I got her some new pens yesterday, so we've been drawing together. She has to be supervised though, obviously. She's only one in four months, so I can't just like leave her with the pens to just draw, because one, my furniture would get absolutely ruined, and number two, she's just too small, so she, she's still in that stage where she puts things in her mouth. Um, but she is at an age where if I say no, she'll like stop doing it, but still. Now she is just upstairs chilling with my brother, her uncle Vass. I am going to get her ready for nursery. She starts at 1, 1 p.m. If you didn't know, Ayla goes to nursery Monday to Thursday, 1 till 6, so that I can get some work done. So during that time, that's when I do my makeup looks or get my nails done or go into a meeting or an event um, or doing rubbish adult stuff like paying bills and going food shopping. But most of the time I just get work done during that time, whether that be filming a YouTube video, editing a YouTube video, doing a makeup look for Instagram. Um, so yeah, time is tight because obviously she only goes for five hours a day. And by the time I've dropped her off and come back home, cuts into about half an hour of my time and then usually I eat some lunch that's like another half an hour and then I've only got about three and a half hours left of work and then I've got to pick her up for six. I'm still very very grateful to be in the position that I am in you know being able to like work for myself and be a mum pick my own hours sort of thing. She doesn't start nursery for another two and a half hours yet um, but I'm just gonna get her dressed and washed up and stuff and then probably play with her in the garden I don't know do some sort of activity then she'll probably nap So the weather actually hasn't been too bad in London recently. I mean it's here and there But like what do we expect? So I went out and got some garden stuff I'm still waiting for my garden furniture to come but I got some like little flower hanging basket things I'll show you I'll show you so I got like these hanging ball things and then they're just hanging off of this like bird hangy thing i got some roses all along and they light up at night and back here i got some dragonfly light ones i need to get some like cable tie things like you know the wire things that come with like sandwich bags so that i can like separate them and like pin them where i want because right now it's sort of like mew but i want them to be going everywhere like really random yeah the lights and the um hanging ball thing is from they're all from tesco's i just want to get things together because i want barbecues and stuff you know i tried to teach her to draw it but she was doing it oh are you okay oh. <laughs> all right let's go upstairs Ayla, come Come. So Ayla actually has um, eczema. I'm not sure if I've ever told you guys that. Sometimes she can be quite itchy. We have to use different creams that have come from the doctors. So sometimes it can get really, really bad. Like in winter, because like it gets really cold in the UK, we have central heating. And then in the summer, it can get aggravated because it's hot and sweaty. I have to try and keep her cool and at a good temperature. But one day I'm going to be doing a video talking about like what products and stuff I use on Ayla. Um, but it will be like a video more so on like what products helped me in the first few months of motherhood. What I would really recommend to everyone. But then I'll talk about some of the products that she uses as well. I have to do this thing with her where I suck up all her bogeys. She doesn't like it but I find that if I go eee! She finds it funny. And that is all bogey in there. Life of a mum. Okay, darling, we're nearly done. Let's put a vest on you. Yes, yes, stand up. Good girl. Do you know your hairbrushes? No? Can you come to mommy please? Come here. Come here. Am I gonna have to come and get you? Right.
I stained my carpet yesterday, guys. I spilled red grape juice on my carpet. So I got this from my balcony and I got the table thinking that they came with chairs and it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to get the chair separate. Finished, and Ayla is still having her nap. Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. How was your nap? Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you look like the coolest baby I've ever seen in my life. Do you know? Look at your little sandals. I am obsessed with Ayla's little feet. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? <laughs> Saving electricity. Thank you. Have you guys tried the peach green tea lemonade or the mango black tea lemonade from Starbucks? Insane. Ah! Ah! Guys, there is a massive bee. There is no way I can work. Oh. Please. Oh my God, I went outside, yay! Let me close the balcony door because I cannot. I look like hell but I have not showered yet. I'm gonna go shower. Oh my goodness, I feel 10 times better. <laughs> it is literally amazing what a shower can do. So I just wanted to speak about something quickly because it's kind of been on my mind. Like I set up my house today and had two altercations with people. One was an older woman. I was dropping off Ayla to the nursery and um, I didn't even know that she was there. I was saying bye to Ayla. She wasn't really in the mood to go in today. So I was just saying to her, like, you're gonna have a good day and give mummy a kiss and just making sure that she was okay to go in. And um, then this woman pushes the buggy, like moves it over. She was like, excuse me, can you move? I've got somewhere to be. I was like, <laughs> I was just like, are you joking? Like, do you have to speak to me like that? Sorry if you heard a lot of background noise in the back. I've just closed the windows. Um, but she was looking down on me because obviously I'm a young mum. And the way that she was just looking at me like, oh, sorry guys, my memory card was full. I just had to free up some space. But I forgot what I was saying. But I think I was on the track of if she would have just said to me like, yeah, that's what I was saying. If she'd have been like, sorry, um, I'm in a rush. Could you move your buggy? Because I'm in a rush, whatever. Just a nicer tone or just a little bit more respect. Then I would have been like, oh my God, so sorry. I didn't even see you there. But she's just come across so aggressive. And I felt like because she was older than me, she automatically felt entitled to respect. And 
I give everybody respect. Um, every single human in the world, I give respect unless unless I know you're just an asshole or if you have lost my respect. And that is pretty much it. Babies, toddlers, teenagers, young adults, elders, anybody I give respect to. I just, I hate being spoken to like a piece of shit, especially when I was so unaware that she was even there. But um, if I ever see her again, then I'll just talk to her on a level and just say to her like, cause she might've been having a really bad day and she might have just been taking her mood out on me. But if I was to ever see her again, I would, I would have just been like, look, I understand I was in your way, but please, next time, could you just speak to me or anybody else with a little bit more respect and the result would be a lot different. Also, I was on my way back home and these guys were beeping at me and, and they were like builders that work around the area, beeping at me, giving me these looks. And I just got so angry. And it usually gets me angry, but this time I was, I shouted and I was just like, nah, 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 nah. like went off on one because, well, the woman already annoyed me today, but I'm just sick of it. Like they feel so entitled to just stare and look. And I, it wasn't as if I was even in skimpy clothing. I had full length trousers on, some sandals. I had a crop top on, but like, whatever. I look like a piece of shit, honestly. I haven't even showered yet. I'm just a woman that just wants to get on with their day. Why have you got to have sex with me with your eyes? Do you have a wife at home? You probably do, this is the thing. And I always think to myself, like, do, not, do, do these people not have sisters, daughters, mothers, just any female that they really respect that they wouldn't want the same to happen to the person that they love? And it's sad that you have to put it like that for them to realize. It's been happening all my life, like being catcalled, wolf whistled, and men looking at me like they own my body. But more women are speaking about it, more people are speaking about it. I've even seen men speak about it and say, you know what, you're right, it's not it's not right. And I wouldn't want it done to any of the people I love. And I feel like more and more people are starting to realise it. And I guess that's why I'm talking about it a little bit, because it's an important matter. People's feelings and people's respect and people how people feel is worth everything, really. And nobody should make other people feel uncomfortable. Anyway, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was nice to have a sit down and chit chat with you. I'm going to get on and I'm actually going to edit a makeup tutorial. And then I'm going to, if I have time, I will edit this vlog after. I hope you're all doing good and being your best, working hard, playing hard, looking after your health and being kind to everybody. Take care. I love you guys.